the channel guys we are going to turn this eco tank printer into a sublimation printer and i'm really hoping it's not that hard matthew is waiting in the wings to save me if i need saving hopefully not fingers crossed we'll see here comes Sai. um so yeah so i ended up finding these eco tanks they were on sale for 200 dollars. i got it at target but i will link it down below if you guys are interested the cool thing about the eco tank is that since it's an eco tank you necessarily you aren't really converting it like some people um that i've seen they were doing things with like syringes and all of that I should not have to do that because it's an eco tank. I also got two of these, so I got one for just regular printing and one for sublimation. So yeah, we're going to get started and I literally haven't even opened the box yet. So here we go. And Matt has given me the most handy tool ever to open boxes with. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Hi. Okay. So yeah, so I'm literally just now opening this up. It comes with, let's see, the paint and everything. Also random, I probably, I don't know if I should say this now or whatever, but for sublimation, you have to get special sublimation ink and that's what makes it, makes you able to sublimate. <laughs> so I got the printer's jack one, which also comes with syringes, in case you guys are in need of that. Um, I seen that this brand was just a brand that people used a lot online. I also seen that people were talking about some brand named Cosmos, but yeah, we're just gonna go with Printer's Jack because that's what we have today. It's fine. And then I got a sub sublimation paper. Remember, I have never done any sublimating in my life, so I have no idea how this is gonna come out. I just researched it and this is what it said. It said printer's jack and the A sub sublimation paper. And I got eight and a half by 11 just because the eco tank's a 2720. So it prints like regular size paper. Okay, continuing on. In the table I got at Ikea. <laughs> and Matthew put it together because he's the best. Okay. Flashback to the 90s. A, hey, if you're a 90s child, put your hand in the air. He's fine, honey. Um, there's an Epson disc. I don't even think I have a disc player. <laughs> Maybe Matt's PlayStation 5? Does it play these kinds of things? No, my computer will. Maybe Matthew's computer. Hopefully we will not need it, but I'm gonna pass the direction. You should be able to download one. Download it? There's also a booklet in there saying what to do. It's actually pretty light. So that's what it looks like when you take it out the box. The cord, although I think it's wireless. I mean, obviously you need to plug it into something for power. Um, print impression, copy scan, Wi-Fi, rear paper input, mobile printing so it has something okay perfect and then here is the ink that it came with like i said i purchased two different printers so what i seen a lot was people were just like throwing this ink away i am not going to throw this ink away even if i have to like take a second from this video open the other printer get that printer set up put this ink in that printer and then like put this into here but i don't know we'll see if i can just take the lids off of here and put them into there who knows? Okay, there's that and there's the cord. When I say this thing is light, it's very light. Okay, perfect. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna open the instructions. I've watched a thousand YouTube videos on this, but like, you know, never hurts to do your own research. This looks easy. Step one, unpack. Yay, we did it. Step two, fill the tanks. Okay, this is where it's gonna get a little difficult. Um, okay, perfect. Let me take all the blue tape off. 
Oh no! I'm gonna take the plastic off of here. And y'all know I love my plastic. If you're like me and you love the plastic, it's okay. It's never the right time to say goodbye. Okay, also, really nice of Epson. They like folded the tape over on the edges so it's easy to like peel off. Shout out to Epson. And all that jazz. Ta-da! Okay, so you literally, there's just like a little hand button on the side. You just like push it and you pull it out. And then here's the ink. So there's CMY yellow. I don't know what C stands for. Cyan. Oh, Matthew's right. It's for cyan. So yeah, okay. I gotta go. We're gonna go to the bathroom. And we're gonna go and figure out this whole ink situation. So I'll be right back in a second. All right. Now we're just downstairs in the bathroom, and I'm just opening all the inks up. And after I have all the inks open, I will come back and show you what my next plan is. Terrible news, it's too bad. <laughs> yeah, there's worse things. Yeah. Okay. Well then that means we're just gonna have to do these ones. Do the first set of the first printer maybe the right way. Because I'm not gonna dump this ink out. Okay, after you get done washing out your bottles, which you want to do completely, I just used water. You want to dry them out because you don't want for water to mix with the ink. And this is the exact moment that I realized that there is a little layer right there that you have to take off before you can put your ink into your old ink bottles. And you're literally just going to transfer your sublimation ink into your empty Epson ink bottles and get yourself all ready to go. You are going to empty your ink bottles into your Epson Eco Tank. And these bottles are self-filling, so they will stop on their own. That's why I'm just putting it on there and listening. It makes a gurgling sound. Once the gurgling sound is done, it is completely filled up. At this point, you do not have your Epson printer turned on or even plugged in or anything like that. This is going to be your immediate step after you take all the tape off and you transfer the ink out and put your sublimation ink in. You will have to print a like, what is it called, test sheet. So I just used a regular piece of paper for my test sheet. I did not use sublimation paper. And at this point you will plug it in and you will turn on your printer. Next step after this is called charging the ink. And it does take about 10 minutes, just so you know. So yeah, once you get that going, you'll be doing that. I set mine up wirelessly. So I had to download the software onto my computer because I have a MacBook. So I don't think that there is a way for me to set it up through a hard wire. What I will say is that it did take me about two times of running the software to get it set up. It was a little bit difficult. Also, I'm not super technological savvy. So so that could be one of the problems but after that it was set up and it worked very well okay you guys I'm so glad that you're going through this journey with me I hope that this video is super helpful if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below I respond to questions as soon as I get them so yeah thanks again for watching I'm so excited for our crafting journey together and I hope to see you next time